This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We meet Fred Kristen of f and Archery in Osseo, Wisconsin. One of the true pioneers of the sport of bow fishing. Now Fred shares with us some of the history of this fast growing sport and takes us on a little nighttime fishing excursion on the Mississippi River. Will you look at that? That's what we talk about right here. He's right there. I'm not even tired yet. That is sweet. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral. Deer, eat it gone. Colby Chrysler Center, welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. Canada Outdoor Adventures, the adventure of a lifetime. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. You know, bow fishing has gotten very popular over the last few years. Now I got a chance to spend a little time with Fred Christian from F&D Archery in Osseo, Wisconsin. Now Fred is one of the true pioneers of this great sport. We got a chance to sit down with Fred at his shop in Osseo and get out on the Mississippi River to have him teach us a little bit about this great sport. Oh, I'm Fred Kristen from uh, Osseo, Wisconsin. I'm pushing on 70 years old. Been in the archery business for 30 years. Uh, I grew up in a, on the farm. I was a farm boy and, and I started out at a real early age with archery. Like at age five or six, I guess, I was chasing around in the woods, building bows and arrows and one thing led to another. And we, uh, been in archery ever since then. We, we still love the sport. We've spent many, many years and, and we've met lots and lots of really neat people through our archery experience. And it's been a great, great ride for this guy. Started the archery store in 1980. So we can make some money and be able to uh, do our own thing without a lot of expense. So that's how I got into the archery business. And it's, it's been a really, really fun thing for me. We started out here selling maybe Oh, 10 dozen arrows a year up to over 500 dozen arrows a year. And, uh, and the bows, of course, too. The bows have evolved. It's a tremendous thing I've seen happen in the last 30 years here. The involvement of bows and, and arrows and, and everything out there and the expertise. So I would have to say that, that our archers now are much, much farther advanced than they were when I first started out because this information highway that we're on right now has gotten to be a, the information is there, all you gotta do is make a click and whatever you wanna know is there. It's there. We are a full service pro shop here. I will rebuild any kind of bow there is out there. I, uh, and we, we offer service. When you are on the other side of the counter from me, you are my boss, I consider you my boss, and you could fire me at any moment. So I do not wanna be fired, so therefore I'm gonna do my very best for service for you. So we'll do anything that needs to be done on your bow or arrows. I was bow fishing quite a long time before I opened the short store here. I remember I, I shot my first bow fishing tournament in 1967 on Dell's Pond in Eau Claire. When I started the shop in 1980, I thought, and we gotta do bow fishing stuff here too, because I really, really, bow fishing was to me, it was like the cream of the crop as far as the off season. We started our bow fishing thing with probably selling one or two arrows a year here. And now it's evolved into over 100 bow fishing arrows a year and, and bows and reels and line and, and you name it. About four years ago, we invented a little fishing rod called the straight shooter rod. And so we're, we have a, we're having a big time with this. And we're now selling nationwide. It gives me a chance to be out in the water hunting and fishing, which is, uh, bow fishing is a hunting and fishing experience. My wife and I would go to the river just about every weekend. Her and I would go to the weekend, and places we would look for would be around the islands, 
Um, weedy areas, like during the summertime, you can go in there in a real hot summer day and, and go some along some of these weed beds, you can actually hear the fish sucking off the top of the water. So if you sneak in them, on, if you sneak in on them, you'll eventually see them, you'll see those lips, lips up on top of the water, you can hear them sucking air off the top of the water, you can sneak in on them and shoot them, you know. Whether it be out of a boat or on land, I mean, we a lot of times would, jump out of the boat, if the fish were in, a, in an area we couldn't get in, the, in with the uh, boat, we would jump out of the boat and roll our sleeves over, sometimes wear shorts, and we'd go right in after them. And we were actually out there stalking around, down these islands and stuff like that, shooting fish. I would tie a big stringer on the back of my belt, and when we shot them, we would put them out of the stringer and haul them out until we got a load, they'd go back to the boat, so. It's a great family sport. The kids love it, I take kids with me a lot. If you like to hunt and fish, bow fishing's got it. There's a weed bed that goes, when it's when, in the middle of summer, there's a weed bed that goes all the way out to the edge of the river. And early in the spring, when that weed bed first starts to come up, that whole flat in there is full of fish. Oh yeah, this is really good up in here. That's why I came up here. I thought we'd see, but the weather's not cooperating at all. It's not cooperating. You know? so, what are you going to do? There. Yeah, they're deep. They're deep, the ones I can see are sucked right down yeah, to the bottom. They're laying on the bottom. You gotta be on your toes, boy, when they're, you know. Right here, Johnny. Hey, right here. Right here, right here. Right here, in front of us. Right here. I got it, I got one. I got one. Slow it down. The big one, the hog. In the Mississippi right here for the sucker is huge. In 2000s when they started the night fishing, approximately 2000 2001. But I explicitly remember the first time we went night bow fishing. Now the excitement was there because I'm an avid fisherman and my neighbor up here had a 16 foot flat bottom boat. We went together and had halves on the generator. We went in there and we shot one fish from one o'clock until dark. And we put the lights on, and I'm not kidding, we, by 11 o'clock we had a 55 gallon drum full of fish, and there was still fish running around there, huge carp out there, and we were literally slinking, sinking this 16 foot boat. And, and I was hooked, I was hooked. I mean, it was like, and this is the best thing since fried chicken here, what we got going on here. I told my wife, says, we absolutely have to have a bigger boat. So we ordered an 1860 Sea Ark. And what we ordered was a bare boat, no seats in it. We, we decided we want an air fan on it. I had been on some air fan boats, and an air fan simply is a ultralight motor is what it is. Well, it's an ultralight prop on there and basically a lawnmower motor. All the controls for, for my boat are up on top of the deck, so I never have to get off the deck. I even have a power trim tilt. So the boat has been kind of a passion. We're running now a 4,000 watt generator on it. We've tried to make the thing as user friendly as I can. We use GPS, which is mandatory if you're going to fish the Mississippi River, or any, even if you know the lake. If you know the lake, you really need to have a GPS, because the Mr. Fog comes in and you get fogged in, I don't care who you are, you're going to have a tough time finding your way back to the landing. So GPS is almost should be part of your equipment. This is old. I traded my 12-gauge shotgun for this curve. With my bows, I started out with a recurve, my first reel I made out of a trumpet speaker. And then some of the arrows we made back then too, there was not, there was not much for arrows either because there was very little equipment because the sport had not really evolved into what it is now today. After we got the big boat, we got a sponsorship then from Renegade Archery Company, which used to be up in, uh, up in Bloomer, local company. They sponsored bows for our boat and, and we started using uh, spinning reels. Right now for line, for line we're using a 200 pound, just ordinary fishing line. Highly recommend using gloves with it because it will cut the dickens out of your hands if you uh, handle that line. Uh, this is an Oneida Osprey. 
kind of like the, the top shelf bow fishing bow. Uh, this is what I use for bow fishing, very much like a recurve. It's got very little let off on it, and it's very easy to draw back. We're shooting about 35 pounds on it. Um, this, is a, this is a pro reel setup. This is actually, I sell this here in my store. This is a pro reel seat, a muzzy reel, and a straight shooter rod. Straight shooter rod is one that I talked about earlier that I invented. So this is the whole combo here. And the arrow I'm using is a hydroglide arrow. It's a 930 second arrow with a sure shot tip on it. Just about every bow manufacturer now is making a dedicated bow fishing bow. So now we have a lot of manufacturers that, that have uh, arrows. Muzzy being one of the top manufacturers out there is bow far as bow fishing uh, equipment. Uh, Ron Skirvin uh, from over in Plover, Wisconsin. He developed a tip called the Sure Shot tip. And that is the tip, my, that's my favorite tip. Arrows are made out of fiberglass, and now we've got people that are making carbon arrows. Probably don't need anything more than 35, 40 pounds at the max to shoot anything you're gonna shoot in the state of Wisconsin. Get the gas. Now, in the state of Wisconsin, we're, we're allowed to shoot any rough fish, which would, would be a high fin carp sucker or quillback. They call them quillbacks also. The suckers, red horse, uh, there's the big mouths and small mouth buffalo. We have the long nose, short nose gar. Barely got him. And of course, the, the typical carp. There's, I think, about 12 species of carp out there, which a lot of people don't know. They think a carp is a carp is a carp, and that's not true. Big bullfish in the Mississippi. I think they shot a new state record carp uh, in Wisconsin this year. It was over 40 pounds for a regular carp. And the buffalo, uh, the buffalo carp, was well, actually the state record was shot on my boat about, must be before the night bow fishing was on. My buddy from Portage shot a 62 pounder down on Lake Wisconsin. And that was actually in the boat, so that was a neat experience for me to see that state record fish come in. It was actually after the night fishing started that actually got broken, and I think it's only been broken by a couple pounds, so I think the new state record is somewhere like 63 pounds. A lot of these fish are good eating, and also the smoking part too. I do smoke here myself. We smoke carp here, and an excellent table fare. So there are some advantages to going fishing. It isn't like we just get rid of all these fish. A little soda crackers and some beer and carp, they just about can't be beat. The DNR spends thousands and thousands of dollars every year to get rid of these rough fish. We just give this to the bow fisher, we do it for nothing. When we go to the boat landing, there's always some people at the boat landing wanting, they'll come over and see the boats that we run and they'll say, what are you doing? You know, they want to know, they're really curious as what we're doing. And when it gets dark, we put the lights on, and then we start working the shoreline just like you would if you were bass fishing or, or musky fishing or anything. If we're not along the shorelines, we look into the flats. The weeded flats, we'll find carp in the weeded flats, and sometimes, particularly early in the year, if you're working for, with buffalo, we will find carp that'll be Carp and buffalo both, they'll be along the main stream. Get him up. Uh, it's dandy. Uh. 
Nice one. Woo! Yeah, that's what it's all about right there. Nice big old grass cart. We're having fun on the Mississippi. Woo! Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. Other minerals on the market contain up to 70% salt. Real Deal has less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need to grow bigger horns. And bigger horns mean bigger trophies. I tried Real Deal Mineral for the first time and I had over a thousand pictures on my trail cameras in less than a week. Real Deal Mineral. Check out our website or a dealer near you. At Kobe Chrysler Center, we know that buying a new car is a big deal. So we do our best to make you feel right at home. We know your time is important, so you won't find any gimmicks or hassles here. Just a great selection and unbeatable prices. Good looks, a comfortable ride, a Hemi engine, safety, and the ability to haul just about anything. What more could you ask for in a new truck? Our commitment to you doesn't end with the sale. We are here for you anytime you need us. At Colby Chrysler, it's all about making you feel at home and ready to hit the road. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Conceptual design, quality printing, and custom applications. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Over 20 years of professional service and experience. Pro Designs in Medford, from original concept to finished product. Get the recognition your business deserves. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Offering professionally guided, all-inclusive packages, Canada Outdoor Adventures is a U.S.-based company specializing in great hunting adventures in Alberta, British Columbia, New Zealand, and beyond. Whether you're seeking that trophy of a lifetime, planning a hunt for you or your group, or taking your son or daughter on their first adventure, let Canada Outdoor Adventures handle all the details for you. To contact a pro staff member near you, visit our website, Canada Outdoor Adventures, the adventure of a lifetime. Hey everyone, we love to see the photos of the animals you harvest and the fish you catch here on Outdoor Bound TV. Well this season, Petrick Service Station of Independence has teamed up with the SPM Apparel to bring you some great prizes just for submitting your photos to the show. Simply log on to the Outdoor Bound TV website, click on the Submit Photo button, and all the instructions and contest rules are right there. All photos submitted will automatically be entered into the grand prize drawing. A Remington Model 700-270 rifle, compliments of Petrix Service Station. Anyone selected for the show will receive an Outdoor Bound TV t-shirt, compliments of ESPM Apparel. All entries must be received by December 1st to qualify. And remember, you can't win if you don't submit your photo. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. The bow fishing season starts really early. Early in April is when the first ice first comes out, um, the fishing, the big fish are there. And even during the winter time, we have a lot of our young people that actually winter fish. We get in toward the end of April and first part of May, and then it slowly evolves, starts getting better and better and better. And Memorial Day, then we'll come the carp spawn and the gar spawn. And then when we're done, when we're done fishing then with the spawn thing, then the fishing really begins because now we're going to have to hunt for the carp. People that are starting out new, I guess the best thing to do is go to, to talk to somebody like me. I will give you all the information you want. You can call me, 
anytime you wanna. And if I know where they're spawning carp, I'll tell you. I have no secrets when it comes to fishing. I want everybody to enjoy the sport of bow fishing. So there really are no secrets. So I might not give up my favorite hole if I'm gonna be doing a tournament there that night. I may not give my favorite hole up, but my normal stuff, you call me over here at my place here of business, and if I know where the fish are at, I'll tell you. I don't know if it stayed. It looked like it was pretty good. I thought you were pretty dang big. Right there, right there. I talked to somebody that's got some knowledge about it because the equipment varies so much and it could depend upon how, what your budget is. They don't move much when you shoot them right in the head. Like any other sport that we do, you can spend as much on bull fishing as you want. Along with the night bow fishing came the advent of the Wisconsin Bow Fishing Association. I think right now we got somewhere like 200 members, so we've been turning out some really big numbers at the tournaments. And we hold the tournaments uh, all over the state of Wisconsin. And what we're doing is we're promoting the sport of bow fishing through the tournament circuit. Through my bow fishing, I have been able to access places to go fish that maybe some of the other people aren't, haven't been so fortunate to do. The alligator gar behind us is, is the highlight of my career as far as bow fishing because the alligator gar is probably at the top of the, everybody's list as far as trophy. That's the biggest fish I ever shot in my entire life, which was a, a rush. My wife didn't like it very well. I called her at 1.30 in the morning from, from the lake in the middle of Texas. I said, honey, I said, you are not going to believe what we just put in this boat. I was just, it was like, oh man, I, mean, I couldn't hardly talk. I was so excited. It was a really exciting trip. We actually brought four alligator gar home on that trip. We shot a 70 pounder, an 85 pounder, and a 60 pounder, and this 150 pounder.
right there. Oh, I just missed it too. Oh, I got him, I got him. Oh, he got away, he got off. Yeah, my arrow's loose. All the way there, stuck in the ground, I had him. fun you know you don't have to have the most high-tech equipment out there you know I have this big boat now and I don't shoot any more fish now than I did when I had that small boat so there you go got him off shake it off a little bit twist up that head I hear they're getting them up front so yeah get right back if you like to hunt and you like a fish bow fishing is it and I guarantee you excitement you will uh, excitement I've known so many people that we take them out one time and they, they're buying boats within a short time and they're buying equipment. And bow fishing, if you like to shoot the bow and arrow and spend time out, outdoors, bow fishing is where it's at. <laughs> Everybody should try this. <laughs> Guys, that was a great time out on the Mississippi River. And Fred, thanks for sharing some of the history and your passion for this great sport. Folks, if you'd like more information about bow fishing, I'm sure Fred wouldn't mind if you gave him a call down at his shop in rural Osseo. Again, F&D Archery, or check them out on the web. Join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around Wisconsin, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Hey, do you want to stay up to date on the cast and crew of Outdoor Bound TV? Find them on Facebook, or you can log on to their website, OutdoorBound.tv. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral, Deer Eat It Gone, Colby Chrysler Center, Welcome Home to Colby Chrysler, Pro Designs, Sign and Printing Solutions, Canada Outdoor Adventures, The Adventure of a Lifetime. Hi, I'm Fred Christen from Osceola, Wisconsin, Outboard, Outdoor Bound TV. We're going to go to a commercial break. It's a little <laughs> stuttering there. I tell you what, folks, if you've never tried bow fishing, you've got to give it a whirl. It's a ton of fun. Right there. Oh, got to trip. Pull it on. Oh. Woo. We're having fun, boys. The bugs are thick. <laughs> hey. There he is.